today's deck profile, we'll be looking at my standard Bermuda Triangle deck. Uh, got a chance to play this at one tournament uh, through our um, at my local card shop slash webcam tournament. Uh, got first place with it, so pretty excited. Uh, pretty much the premise for this deck is going to be very similar to my premium deck. It's actually where I was inspired to make my premium deck, so I, technically the standard deck came first. Uh, the deck itself, uh, it's going to be about the whole value on the Elite 3 cards. Uh, so anyway, let's just go through the list. Uh, for our starting card is Shizugu, that's our starting Vanguard. Uh, doesn't matter which one you uh, use, but go first, you draw a card, if you write over it. If you go second, you get a quick shield plus the draw, so a very solid card. Uh, the combo plays is with their grade ones, of course, which we'll go in a moment, but that's just our starter, V-Series starter. And then for our triggers, we have four heals, eight crits, and then uh, four draws. So very uh, standard uh, style triggers. I use the draw PGs over the Sentinel crits because I feel that um, perfect guards are just better value, plus getting an extra draw if these were triggered is really good. Uh, crits because crits win games, and then heals because healing is important. So very standard trigger lineup. For our grade one, this is where a lot of the cards uh, in the deck is from the new uh, Bermuda set. Uh, you don't really use a lot of the old cards. So let's take a look. We have four Ellie's. So this card is really good. Pretty much uh, if this is on your Vanguard or Rear Guard spot and the attack hits or boosted hits, then uh, you can search your deck for another Ellie. While if it's on the Rear Guard spot, you retire it. Uh, if you added a card to your hand. So that's important. Uh, the idea is that if it's on your vanguard circle and you're attacking, you're going to plus one if it hits. If it's on the rear guard and, it, and if it does hit, uh, it'll kill itself to get another copy and that will set up its secondary effect, which is when it's placed on guardian, you can put uh, an Ellie from the drop zone to the bottom of your deck to have this card gain 10k shield. So. This is like a vanilla heal in your hand when you guard. So that's really good. It's quite fitting uh, that this is a defensive card because uh, Mermaid Idol Ellie was the original perfect guard for Bermuda Triangle. So a little trivia. Uh, next from the new set, we have uh, Mermaid Idol Sedna. So pretty much it's your grade three searcher when you ride it from your hand on the vanguard or rear guard. Look at top five, grab a grade three shuffle and then discard a card and then it has a secondary skill where uh, it gains 5k if there's a unit in the same column so really good it combos well with the grade 2 aqua that's also in the deck but also that if you ride this uh, you just and you're going second you can discard your quick shield so uh, really good card and then uh, this is questionable you can probably change it to something else but I'm using four copies of Tame Candice Katsia. I think that's how that's pronounced. But anyway, her effect is uh, when a rear guard was returned uh, during the turn, uh, she gains uh, 5k. So she's really good. 13k booster. Just kind of like Sedna. And then she has a rear guard skill that says that. Uh, uh, if you have a Turia Vanguard, so spoiler, I do have Turia in the deck. Uh, after the battle that this unit attacked or boost, uh, you can, uh, and you have a Vanguard with Turia in this card, now you can Soul Blast 1 and return the column that this unit was on. Uh, you don't really use that effect too much because uh, you're not going to really want Turia as your Vanguard. But anyway, her, sec her effect of gaining power is usually what's important because you just want to have another Sedna uh, type effect. And then our, to round up our grade ones, we have uh, two uh, special uh, message Aurora. Uh, very solid card. It's just a 
draw one, discard one, so it's just like a CCC helper, you know, help fix your hand. Uh, for our grade twos, very simple. Uh, again, uh, this is from the new set. We got Top Idol Aqua, a very solid card. Pretty much when you play on Vanguard or Rear Guard, uh, this unit can bounce a normal unit to your hand, draw a card, and discard a card. It's a hard once per turn. So you can reuse cards like Aurora um, here, or the uh, Sedna here, or you can reuse cards like Weasalote, which I have a four of in the deck as well. Uh, this was a reprint from the uh, Twinkle Melody set. So uh, a lot of the cards in the deck you can actually uh, uh, pretty much get from the new set. I think the only, even like so far, every single card shown was from the new set. Even um, Aurora, uh, this card was a reprint. So uh, you can pretty much use all, almost all the cards in the deck is from the new set. But uh, Usual Lote is just a broken card. When she's uh, played, uh, you can superior call the top card of your deck or put the top card of your deck into your soul. Uh, just a broken card, and you can call this out as if you if as if you're a grade one. So uh, pretty good. Now these cards you can cut, but I like to use them. Uh, these are from the last set. I got two Karos and one uh, Sonata. Uh, the reason I played Karo, uh, my thought process was it hits me search for Ange uh, or Turia, depending on my Vanguard. And then uh, Sonata's is a 15k beater. Just a one of because the grade threes right here that I used to finish up the grade three lineup, Ange, uh, she can search for... Uh, uh, cards out of the deck. So what she does is this. When she attacks, you counter blast one, you bounce as many, not as many, but you can bounce uh, normal unit cards uh, from your side or your opponent's side, and based on how many cards you bounce, uh, you get these effects. So her first one is if you bounce two or more, she gains 10k. If you bounce three or more, you get a four, uh, give, an imaginative force, and then you bounce four or more, you search your deck for one card and one unit card and call it. So the idea is uh, you just bounce two or three of your things, maybe one from your opponent's side, and uh, you just get massive value. Uh, Anj itself, she's a good splash card for any uh, Bermuda deck that you're trying to experiment with. Uh, I went for the route where she's the main star of the deck. so. Uh, Anj in the past has always been a very good uh, unit card, so it's really cool to see her uh, in standard, and she's still good. The missed opportunity, though, is that she can only bounce normal unit uh, cards. I really wish she had her um, G version effect, where you can just bounce uh, cards on circles, or you know, all all this just that that weird wording where you can get around lock. Uh, because she has to bounce, she's only bouncing normal units, it does not get around lock, so that's a missed opportunity. And then uh, the last of my grade threes are my Turias. Uh, luckily, I cool, I was able to get one of each of the art for Turia, so I'm really happy with that. But anyway, Turia's effect is on Vanguard, when she's placed, you bounce all your normal units. Uh, and your opponent's units if you want to. You can just bounce as many as you like. Uh, and then, uh, you, uh, if you bounce three or more, she gains 15k. Now, it's important that you do bounce the three, at least three cards, because she has a Vanguard Rearguard skill that says that uh, after the battle that this unit attacked, hit three or more cards will return, counter blast one, and then discard a card from your hand, stand this unit, get strike minus one. Uh, this is pretty much the star effect of the deck so it gets you the whole multi-attack play usually for Ange if you're on Ange and that's ideally the best card you want to be on you'll have a field like this you know something like that uh, let's get some boosts uh, well it doesn't really matter what the boost is full field in general 
and uh, assuming you got a bunch of counter blasts too, let's say average wise, you want to have at least two face up per turn. That's that's usually ideal. Then uh, then the deck will just function properly. Pretty much you attack, and then you attack. In fact, you bounce two of these. You could bounce this if you have to, and then bounce one thing on your opponent's side of the field. And then you can superior call whatever you want from your deck. So let's get a uh, Lizel Lote, and then um, doesn't matter. Then uh, after this attacks, you get some triggers. You can put on Turia. The Turia attacks twice, and then maybe Lizel Lot will attack. But you're getting force markers every time you're doing her effect. So that's really good. So how you, usually the best way to do it is you get two force markers here for Turia and then one on your Vanguard. So that's usually the ideal setup. Um, you can also, if you had these a lot on the field like this and when you tag you search for uh, Sonata. So it doesn't really matter uh, how you do that column. If you have a lot of counter blasts for whatever reason, then you can get some gift markers here instead and then superior call uh, Turia and then you can get even more attacks in. So it's a very standard, very easy deck to play. Um, it still has the aesthetics or the flavor of Bermuda where you bounce cards. So that's quite really nice. A lot of the Bermuda decks nowadays is kind of combo heavy. You kind of want to just go for the uh, uh, you know, Superior Right uh, Riviere or you want to go to um, uh, Field Heavy Pacificas. So there's, this is like more of the in line with the classic Bermuda where you bounce cards to get pluses and then you're just attacking for game. So really cool deck, very easy to play, very easy to build. Uh, so pretty much give it a shot. It's really cheap to make. Uh, Bermuda had a, had a crash in the, as of making this video. So it's super cheap. So if you want to get into standard or uh, not standard, the premium, uh, definitely pick up this. Uh, it's not a bad pickup. But anyway, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.